Hello YouTube, how long has it been? A long time. I don't even know where to start. Like where do I catch you guys up? Since my last YouTube video, I got pregnant. We almost lost our business. We laid off 50 employees. We laid off maybe 40 and then lost maybe 10. Our business totally almost failed. We've taken on about a million dollars of debt saving it. It worked. We made a huge pivot. We've also started a podcast, which maybe I, I talked about that before. I stopped YouTubing a few years ago. Then I gave birth to my baby named Wilder Leo. He's the love of our lives and he's 16 months now. And I basically have put a halt on everything that I was doing previous to having a baby because I just wanted to be a present mom. So like now I have one coaching call once a month with our Come Alive course. I have a coaching call every other week with our Coach Launch course, which is something new that I never shared with YouTube where we're basically training coaches how to do what we had been doing for the last five years and like how to start a business doing one-on-ones. And then besides that, I do podcasts once a week and then I just get to be with my baby the rest of the time. And honestly, there was a long time where YouTube started feeling draining for me and like something that I had to do. So it's been so good for me just getting to slow down, quit working so much, get to be more present and focus on connection with my baby. And then with my free time, just like actually resting and staying regulated and doing things that feel nurturing to me because the sleep deprivation, the, like, how do I even say it? Life has felt so wildly different since having a baby. So I'm having to learn how to do life all over again. Like before having a baby, I put so much effort and intentionality into taking care of myself so that I could be full in my spirit, soul, and body and so that I was thriving. And I feel like I got really good at doing that. And then having a baby, it just like threw all of that through the biggest wrench in the best of ways. And so I'm spending a lot of time like learning and rediscovering how to take care of myself now that I have a baby with me. And now that I am like, it's such a huge heart desire for me to be such a present and available mom. And I don't wanna be the hustle mom that tries to do it all and works full time and is with my baby and takes care of my house and is working out every day and taking care of my husband. Like, I don't wanna have to do it all. I just don't. I want to do the things that feel life-giving for me. And I'm so thankful that I'm blessed enough to be able to make powerful decisions with what I like want to choose into and what I don't want to choose into. But at the same time, it's hard for me because I have been such a go-getter for so much of my life and am always wanting to like work hard and do a good job and love well and serve well and contribute. And so I have a lot of my own intrinsic pressure that I put on myself to just do more all of the time. And so I'm intentionally coming against that in my life. That's why I haven't done YouTube. It felt like something I needed to do for a long time. And now that I am not taking on things like that, I um, have had a, a long period of time to rest and reset. And now I'm like missing, I've got a fuzzy in my nose right now. <laughs> now that I am like allowing myself to rest and just say yes to the things that are in my heart to do, I've been feeling like, man, I miss having a space where I can share more of my life and hopefully give and add value to your life if you're watching this, which hopefully you keep watching. Like, I want to bless your life. I want to share the things that have changed my life that have led to healing and connection. And I wanna share mess and pain and vulnerability and honesty and process so that you know that you're not alone in life and in the things that you're walking through. And I know it's, so rare to have people be authentic and be really honest and 
let you see into the mess and the imperfections. Like I feel like social media is all of these weird glimpses into the pretty parts of people's life. And I like to share the honest and the raw and the real and unpack things in a way where people can grow and learn and glean from it. And so I'm in a space where I want to do that again. And my goal and what I'm hoping for is to release one video a week, whether it's lifestyle and recipes and workouts or a vlog so you can see into what my daily life looks like and what life with Wilder looks like. I am excited to start creating again. So YouTube, I miss you. For all of you who have stayed subscribed for the last several years, thank you. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed but you want an insight into what holistic health, emotional health, thriving spiritually, getting connected to God, connected to yourself and connected in relationship, then click that subscribe button and you will hopefully be hearing more from me. Okay, also my face today is brought to you by Araza Skincare. Totally clean, non-toxic. I love that their slogan is, if looks could heal. I am loving their products. I don't even normally wear face uh, like foundation or powder. I just normally do a little bit of concealer and bronzer, which I do have on, but I also have their face powder, their blush, and their like after finishing primer on. And it's so beautiful and light, and I've been wearing it for about a week now, and I've even worked out in it. I've gotten in the sauna with it on. I've gone for walks. It's been humid, and my skin has been really clear. I haven't broken out. It just feels like light and nice. So if you want to get some of that, I know a lot of you on Instagram have been asking about my skincare, Araza is what it is. So I'll put that link below and give you my discount code so that you can get you some, as well as my skincare oils that I use every morning and every night. It is my favorite, it's called Granola Mama, and it has totally transformed my skin. I use like a tallow and an aging oil, and I am just in love with Granola Mama. And also, whenever I had Wilder, my postpartum hair loss was insane. I had these, my hair was like bald, like way back here. And I had all of this just like thin, patchy, I was so sad about it. And I started using Granola Mama's hair and scalp oil. And I kid you not, within a month after I used it, maybe once a week, I had all of these new hairs growing all over my head. And literally for months, they were like sticking up, like all over my head. I was so embarrassed about it. And I even have these like big chunks of like hairs that are like, they're long now, so it's not as bad, but like just these big chunks of hair that were like short and fuzzy all over my head. But it made my hair grow back so quickly and it's all natural. All of her oils are non-toxic, super clean. They smell like herby and delicious. And it's left my hair feeling like so thick and shiny. And also it's growing longer than it ever has before. Like I feel like for years I was trying to grow my hair out and I couldn't grow it out past like my boobs because it would just like, break off and get thin. And now I literally, like I haven't had a trim even in I wanna say seven months. So this is my hair unhealthy and like really in need of a trim. And it's just like, so much thicker and nicer. Like I stopped wearing extensions, which I wore for years and years, maybe three or four years straight I wore extensions because my bottom layer of my hair just wouldn't grow and get thick. And so anyways, totally transformed my hair. So for those of you who've been wanting to know what I've done to take care of my hair, to get it long and healthy, and my skin, then I'm gonna put both of those links in the description with my codes for you guys. But besides that, like my last 16 months with Wilder and with being a mom has been the most beautiful, grounding, healing, sweetest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I am so in love with being a mom and it's been definitely a whirlwind of learning how to do life again with him and working through, man, I wanna be so present and so emotionally available and like responsive to my baby and I wanna create secure attachment and connection. And I've poured so much of myself into that that in the last few months, I'm like figuring out, okay, I wanna do things for myself again besides just like working out and trying to journal here and there. Like I wanna do things that are exciting for me that give me like a little bit of autonomy like YouTube. And I've definitely had to work through 
like a mom shame and a guilt of feeling like, man, right now my baby is with my assistant and I know he wants to be with me and internally I feel torn. Like I know I'm with him 90% of the time, but like it almost feels wrong to take time away from him. Even if I'm doing something for me and to serve others, like I just so want to give him all of me. And so I'm having to really work through how do I create boundaries where I'm not pouring all of me out for my baby all of the time, which ends up giving like diminishing results, right? Because I can't constantly give all of me to my baby. I really want to give him like quality and quantity, but like I would rather have quality. And so I'm trying to figure out like how do I take intentional breaks and go to a coffee shop for an hour and journal and read and sit in silence so that I come home to my baby and have more to give him and so that I can be with my husband at the end of the night after we put the baby down and have more to pour out and be able to show up for him and give him the love that he craves in our marriage too. Like it's definitely been such a hard journey and I feel like for so many months I've just leaned towards just being with my baby and saying no to everything else because I haven't known how to navigate that internal guilt and shame that I feel for not being with him 24 seven. Yeah, it's just been like hard and beautiful, like the best thing we've ever been through. But also like in marriage, we were so connected. Like I'd say, especially for the year leading up to having him, maybe even a year and a half, like our marriage was so abundant and connected and had so much intimacy and we really were thriving in so many ways like even in the season where the business was failing and we were taking out loans to pay our payroll and like betting on the business because God was telling us to and telling us to keep moving forward. Like we experienced so much intimacy in our marriage and then having a baby was so hard because Spencer is here feeling more connected, more in love with me than ever. And I'm so in love with this little human who is on my boob 24 hours a day, all night long. And I'm a co-sleeper and I nurse on demand still. And I love both of those things and I wouldn't have it any other way but like how do I shift some of that love and energy towards my husband when my baby is hundred percent reliant on me and when my baby is also touching me and needing something from me all the time and when I have a break I just want no one to want anything from me or even look at me and I don't want to be touched like I just want to be with me. And I always swore that I would never be like that. And then here I am, part of figuring out like, man, I feel like I don't have anything to give my husband. And I feel uninterested in loving and being affectionate with him because I'm so obsessed with this little human. And I'm so grateful for my husband and I still love him so much, but I don't know how to shift from being a mom now to a wife. I'd say even though that was the most intense, the first six months postpartum for the last year, I've still been navigating that journey to some capacity where I'm like still trying to figure out how to flow and be balanced in my approach to life and motherhood and being a wife and work. That's my life update. That's all for now, but stick along for the journey. Comment below if you've missed these videos and I'd also love to hear what parts of my life would you really like to see, to know, to hear about? What are things you wanna learn? Maybe you've heard me talk about something in our podcast, which I'll link that below too. If you wanna stay more closely in tune with what life has been like for the last two years because we have it all in our podcast. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.